today. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. Chargers taking on the Cleveland Browns. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Los Angeles Chargers. Alongside Charles Davis and Charles we take a look at this Charger club entering play here they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories the first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror and off we go in week five on EA Sports and the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback so here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led by Teddy Bridgewater in his eighth season now in the NFL. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stay on an even keel, doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They forced incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. On fourth down, out is the putter. Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Back deep, the former All-Pro Tyler Lockett. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. It's a 57-yard punt, 14 on the return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led out of the field by their big mobile quarterback. He can throw it, he can run it, Colin Kaepernick. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yard. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. And he goes out right around the 39. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. On play action, it's Kaepernick. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And it is incomplete. I had a defender running right with him. And now it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw, Kaepernick. Eluding the pressure right. 
Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Throwing now is Kaepernick. He lets it fly for Lockett. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett, his first touchdown on the year. And the Browns have taken the early lead. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Charger drive about to get going. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Bridgewater. He'll get this off to Taylor. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater. That catch good for five. It's third down. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And Taylor, I don't think he got there. No, he did not. Unable to break free, and he's marked short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. take over with a first and ten deep in their own territory. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Second and four. They fake the give. Now Kaepernick. Rolling to his right, looking sideline incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Play action, it's Kaepernick. Escaping the pressure right. Gets this one to use check. And a big gain that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Following the interception, here's Bridgewater. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Oh. 
They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. That's the type of run that Jonathan Taylor gives you so often, and you just can't take it for granted. He finds a way to get those extra yards. The third running back taken in the 2020 draft, but he had the best numbers by far of any of them. 1,169 yards, third most in the NFL, and by the last quarter of the season, he ranked among the best runners in the league. Working with a second and four. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. Third and long now after the sack. And we'll see if Bridgewater has a response. They'll look to throw. Now he's hit. And Bridgewater loses the football. And I think the Browns got it. They did. That's a down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long, and you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Kaepernick. Well, there's Lockett pulling in a tough grab. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Here's second and one now from the seven. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Travis Kelsey, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And it's now 14 to nothing. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off by the Browns touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Throwing Bridgewater. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. And it is now 21 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. deep in there, right? <laughs> Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Shut it down! Shut it down! Let's do this! Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And this is taken in at the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll throw again, Bridgewater. They'll check this one down to Taylor. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. How about this Browns defense they've held so far? This is now third and goal. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he will get in across the jump for a Chargers touchdown. Jonathan Taylor. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Chargers are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. Now the good news, his team's winning. The bad news, he hasn't had the game that he's hoped to, at least to this point here in the second quarter. And a lot of that is pride, because these types of backs want to be in the center of all the action and leading their team to victory. They'll take the win right now, hoping to jump his game up as this one moves on. Yeah, he probably wants a little bit more of the spotlight going forward. To throw, Kaepernick. Over the middle, complete. That's Gordon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Kaepernick now on first down. Flush to his right. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a play fake. Kaepernick. He lets it fly for Lockett. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times. Hope something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and of course putting the ball in jeopardy a second and 11 for the 19 so we come upon halftime and it's the visiting browns with the lead as we are off to orlando now to check in with jonathan coachman at our ea sports halftime report coach okay brandon thank you very much more from you too in just a bit but first let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the nfl here in week five We'll get started up at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, where it was the visiting Packers who were able to come in and win this one on the road. Aaron Rodgers, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, let's head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Detroit Lions. 
Jameis Winston, sharp in the victory as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh. Check on the Steelers at home at Heinz Field. And they were losers in that one as they fall to the visiting Denver Broncos. Jimmy Garoppolo, terrific in the victory as his guys up their mark to 4-1 and one now. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Browns drive about to get started. And, Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot. That's into a crowd and intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Chargers are going to take possession here at their own 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Bridgewater. Finding Bourne here over the middle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. To throw is Bridgewater. Trying to fit it into Bourne, but it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Now, remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six, just inside the 30. Bridgewater. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. From the gun, Bridgewater. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Adrian Amos with a pick, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. They'll try the right side with Henry. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. They'll roll him out right. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Yards 
Throwing his hurts. Check down here for Henry. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to make it fourth down. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. The Charger drive about to get going. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. This D wanting to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. Aaron Donald in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. L.A. readies for its next possession. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Two and after the pick six, Bridgewater. Open man is born. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Bridgewater now. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Yeah. 
Throwing is Bridgewater. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Von Miller in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. But they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Bridgewater to throw it. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. On first and 10, Bridgewater. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. To throw again on second down. Bridgewater got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 17-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And again, it's Bridgewater. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Another throw there off the mark. And obviously, he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question. And my suspicion is he's been coached really well. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And the Browns are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They go play action with Hurts. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Hurts. Flushed out right. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Hurts sets up to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lanyap, a little extra on top.
Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Cleveland, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA 